If you want to build a custom PC, you can do that at Ironside Computers. You just pick your own parts and they will put it together so you don't have to do any building yourself. Anyway, what I really want to do right now is look at this video clip. This is like six months old, but I used 40,000 cannonballs on Dagonauts. I was just like cannoning Dagonauts and I collected this bunch of seeds. There's like a lot, like two, I think this is Toad Flax, it's like 226. Guess what? I used up all of these seeds. Yes, if you look at my farming tab, I have only one each as a placeholder. I literally used everything. I used uh, the ultra compost, everything, and I, this is what I got. I have like uh, 700 cannontine, there's like snapdragon, there's like, <laughs> look at the toad flags. Like, is can I even use these? I have like no bird nests. I have to kill so much giant mole for this. I have like quadum, I have like avento. There's just so much hair blood experience. <clears throat> experience waiting just to be used now because this is all the money that I have I can't really make unfinished potions I think this could make like 3,000 a little bit over 3,000 finish which I don't think it's enough so I'm gonna have to go ahead and alk some items I'm gonna go ahead and use all these runite bars that I have that's gonna make like 80 rune full helms and I recently got a level by smithing cannonballs to 92 and this is the exact requirement for full helms wait I had these clue scrolls in the bank I want to open them right now before I go and alk all the items so let's start with easy one Hopefully no page. That's fine. That's medium clue scroll. Some teleports. This is a hard one. Um, maybe I don't have that one. Not like I care about it. And this is elite. God damn it. <laughs> Pretty much two items. 88 rune full helms and over 200 battle staffs. And there we go. 3.9 million. Now there's one thing that I have to remember. So let's find Torstel right here. Because this is the only herb that I ideally... Uh, it's in the fourth tab. I think I should be removing it. Um, basically, don't make any unfinished potions from these because they are used to make uh, super combat potions. They're used as the last ingredient. So I remember there was a time where I just uh, completely messed up all my torsos that I had. So let's go ahead and make unfinished potions. Currently have 4 million. How much is going to cost me? 2 million. So that's like 5,000 herbs that I got in total. We can actually tell by vials. I think it's like close to 10,000 that I just got. Now, it may seem like it's a lot of Herblood experience, but not everything will be used. Like, I don't have anything for my Toad Flax almost. I have like 200 crushed nests or something uh, that should be somewhere right here, 262. So that's a lot of XP gone. But hopefully I can get to 89, which I think it's very possible. Then I can make the final Super Anti-Venom Potion, which means I can no longer need to use the Serpentine Helmet at... Zolra. Okay, so this is like two days later and some good news is that I got to level 90 Herblor and the main thing about this is that I wanted to track how much experience I'm going to get from all these potions. However, this is the most recent picture that I could or the latest picture I guess that I could take just in case I restarted my PC because the goal was not to restart and to see exactly how much but I think in total I got 1.3 million Blood experience and I still have like 500 torstals and I still have like over 2,000 toad flags so basically what this means is that you can bank 99 hair blood on an Ironman with maybe 400,000 cannonballs or so but it's probably not the most efficient way to do it you can just train slayer and get the seeds that way because trust me smelting all these cannonballs is not going to be pretty however if you really want to do that that's a possibility. Like, if you just want to AFK, because that's lo a lot of AFK. Well, except the bar making, because that's going to suck, you know, buying all those iron ores and everything else. But just once you start, like, smelting them, uh, well, I mean, smelting cannonballs, not the, the bars themselves. That's it. From that point, it's easy. Even the cannoning is easy. Unless you're doing medium clue scrolls, which, again, if you're an Iron Man, you should probably do if you don't have ranging boots or wizard boots. So, today was a very short video, because uh, I was actually planning to start playing on White Cat, so this was supposed to be a progress video, but then I realized I probably want to still continue on my hardcore anime, and, and this is what I'm doing right now, and currently, actually, I'm starting to stream on Twitch, it's an experimental thing, uh, for one week, just for one week, I want to try, uh, see how, how everything is, because I never streamed before, and I want to try to... You know, just so if you want, you can check it out in the video description. There is a Twitch link. I may be live right now. Uh, who really knows? Currently, there is no schedule or anything. But if if you want to try it, anyway, uh, buy and more hardcore Iron Man progress are gonna be coming because I'm streaming it. Bye.